and it was done. He commanded it to pass. Psalms chapter 33, verse 9. Declare the Psalms. And the apostle says that we understand through faith that the words are framed by the word of God. The phrase God said has offended some as making God too much like the human being. But how could the inspired writer have not been to finite minds out of creation character by a fucking finite God? Except by using terms that mortal man can understand. The fact that the utterances of God are repeatedly connected with activities performed by God in verse 7, 16, 21, and 27 indicates convincingly that a revelation of God's creative power is being expressed in human language. So don't be surprised that God said, let there be light. God said, let there be light. Hebrew says, through faith. Let us look at the verse. Hebrew chapter 11, verse 3. Let us read together. Through faith, we understand that the words were created by the word. And God said, let there be light. Through faith, we are going to believe that God said. The words, let there be light, immediately manifested the actual character and humanness of God. The first word replicated the atmosphere of God's throne house. You see, God's throne is light. Light. When you read the book of Revelation, it says that there will be no need no, for no, no, the sun. There is no need for night because it will be just light. The book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 3, gives evidence that light comes from above. Acts 9, verse 3 gives the account of Saul. Saul, the one that was given a charge to persecute. And he one day walked down to Damascus, on his way to Damascus, to carry on this evil. But little did he didn't know that he offended God. And Acts chapter 9 verse 3 says, and as he journeyed, he came near Damascus. Read together. 